Hello again, everyone, and welcome to our weekly watch party Wednesday. I'm Lee Gordon coming to you live from Chicago, home of Brunswick, where we are thrilled to welcome in our incredible Freedom Boat Club owners and members from all over the world. And tonight, we are very excited to feature an exclusive Travel with Freedom Club Spotlight interview with Michael Hales, proud owner of the Freedom Boat Club of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Michael, how are you doing, sir? Awesome, Lee. Thanks for having me aboard. No problem. Thanks for being here. So I, I let's start with a, an icebreaker. I mean, you're a Pittsburgh guy. I mean, Pittsburgh's known for its food and its music, of course. And, you know, our Freedom Social Club has a whole series of Taste of Freedom tunes playlists on Spotify. So what's your number one favorite song to rock out to when you're on the water this season? Uh, you know, Lee, that favorite song question, that, that's a tough question. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I like all kinds of music. So and, and I also would say that I change up my music depending on who's on board with me. But, you know, if you ask the question of, you know, what kind of music do you want to hear and you get the usual, I don't care, whatever you want to play sort of answer. Uh, I usually start with Love Shack or Rock Lobster from the B-52s because that gets people's toes tapping and it makes them smile. That, that is unique. Mostly it's the Jimmy Buffett. It's some kind of, you know. I don't know, Slaughter, some kind of metal band, but I like it. The B-52s, going back yeah, a little bit old school. I like it. Yeah. You know, you, you and I have a lot in common. You know, we've talked about this in the past, too. Both of us come from the TV world, and you spent 30 years in TV ad sales. What inspired you to move from TV to Freedom Boat Club and free, bringing Freedom Boat Club to the Three Rivers of Pittsburgh? Ah, great question, Lee. Well, I spent much of that 30 years, in addition to working in TV, uh, on a boat. Uh, my wife and I have boated in Pittsburgh for at least the last 25 years or so. And interestingly enough, we also had a boat that we used as a weekend home in Annapolis, Maryland. And we would come and cruise the Chesapeake, you know, on long weekends and loved it. And uh, at the marina where our boat was, there was a Freedom Boat Club location. So I got to know the, uh, the general manager there, and I actually taught him how to buy Google AdWords and all kinds of things. Um, and we became friends, and I kept thinking that whole time, geez, you know, Pittsburgh's a great boating community, and somebody should do this in Pittsburgh. And three years later, here I am. Hey, it all works out, doesn't it? You know, I remember last year at the Freedom Forum, you, you pretty much cleaned up. You're like like the Schitt's Creek of, of Freedom Boat Club. I mean, you won just about every award. You won Marketer of the Year. You won Highest Percentage Growth Award, making for a truly record year for you guys. Can you describe just how the last year has been for your club and why so many new members are flocking to the landing in Marina at Station Square? Well, you know, it's, as I said, Pittsburgh's a great boating community, and, and, and I knew that a, a boat club would do well in Pittsburgh. Uh, I guess I never expected it to grow this quickly, and it's been really fun to watch uh, over the last two years. But last year was really an extraordinary year, and, you know, I think there's really two key reasons why. You know, I do a lot of television advertising, so we gained, you know, uh, notoriety and, and recognition in the market quickly. And of course, you know, the whole COVID thing happened last year, and that was really rough on a lot of businesses, but it was also good for a few. Uh, and a boat club is a, is a great example of that. When uh, Governor Tom Wolf in Pennsylvania loosened up restrictions on limited outdoor recreational businesses like golf courses or camping or marinas or boat clubs, you know, it really exploded very quickly. Um, you know, families just were dying for a way to get out and enjoy themselves outdoors and do something fun. And you can't get much more socially distanced and safe than being on a boat. So, you know, we, we, you know, as a result, we quadrupled our membership literally in one year. It was unbelievable. It's incredible. And I know as you quadruple your membership, you're also quadrupling the number of boats you have. So can you walk us through some of the models in your Freedom Fleet in Pittsburgh and why they're so perfectly suited for the unique river waterways that you have in the area? Yeah. So uh, a year ago, we had four boats in the fleet. And today we have 18 and we have 22 total ordered for this year. Um, there are seven pontoon boats in our fleet, which are perfect for cruising the rivers with your family and friends. We've got eight bow riders in the fleet. Six of them are bay liners and two are regals. You know, that's all about cruising or speeding around, speeding up and down the river, or maybe doing a little bit of water toy action. And then we have three hurricane deck boats and more of those on order. And the hurricane deck boats are great because they're kind of a, a cross between a pontoon and a bow rider, they're really a bow rider speedboat. They just have a wider bow so you can seat eight people on them. All that's great awesome. boats for the rivers. No, that's great. You know, and as the largest boat club in the world, Freedom has become the number one social club for boaters. And we all know you're quite the fan of member socials. And Pittsburgh is, I mean, it's a party town, let's be honest. Yeah. What type of member activities are you looking forward to getting back to this summer? 
You know, I, first of all, I just can't wait to get back to socials with our members all together. Um, we've done, you know, parties on the docks. We've done restaurant events. We've done wine tastings. We've even done things like axe throwing and casino nights, <laughs> you know, so we try to mix it up and have a good time with our members. And frankly, I'm just dying to get back out there and do it with them again. Um, we'll, we'll try to mix it up and do some fun stuff this year for sure. So I, got, I, I know you said the, the music question was hard, but this one may be a little bit harder. So in one word, what does Freedom Boat Club mean to you? Oh, wow. That is a tough question. <laughs> Actually, it's not. To me, it, in one word, it's just fun. You know, that's what we do is provide a, a great service and, uh, for our members. And, and we give them the ability to enjoy themselves and have fun and, and not have to worry about anything else other than showing up, boating with their friends and family, and then leaving. That's great. So I, I got to ask you, though, how are the Steelers going to do this year? Ooh, that's a, that's a, that's another tough question. Is that the hardest one? Is that I mean, which one's harder? You keep you keep you keep sending me zingers, man. Uh, right. <laughs> you know, Eight wins, higher, lower, man. We, we got to know this. Exactly. You know, I don't know. I I hope they do better than last year. I don't I don't know how you can begin the season like this and end the season like that. But that's what we did. And hopefully, it's all more like the beginning of the season this year. Well, one of these days, we're getting up there. We're getting in the boat. We're going to a game. We're going to make a weekend out of it. Yeah, come on up. Oh, well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us here on our weekly watch party Wednesday. Members, stay tuned for next week as we continue to celebrate the many faces of freedom here on Freedom Social. The only thing better than owning a boat is being a member of Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh. You'll enjoy an entire fleet of boats ready to go when you want to hit the water. Use as often as you like, bring anyone aboard you like, and you'll have reciprocal access year round at any Freedom Boat Club location. There's no boat upkeep, no hassles, and no worries about maintenance. Just schedule a boat, launch from Station Square, and cruise Pittsburgh's three rivers for a perfect day or evening. Visit FreedomBoatClubPittsburgh.com for membership information. Hello, my name is Michael Hills, and I'm the owner and general manager of Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh. Today we're going to do a little walk the dock tour. I'm going to show you our facility here at the Marine at Station Square. I'm going to talk a little bit about what makes boating in Pittsburgh so special, and also introduce you to our dock operations manager, who will show you our fleet, as well as talk to you about what our membership experience looks like. Come on, follow me. Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh is located right across the river from downtown Pittsburgh and at the Landing and Marina at Station Square. Our membership experience office, as well as our dock operations booth and stand are located on a 200 foot barge, which we call the Landing at Station Square Marina. And then we have 47 slips in our marina, currently half of which are occupied by Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh boats. Our office on the landing at the marina is where our membership experience starts. It's here where we meet new prospective members, where we also do training for existing members, as well as have dock operations team meetings so that we can make sure our members' experience is at its very best. Pittsburgh is a fantastic place to go boating. In fact, at one point, Allegheny County, which comprises the majority of the population here in the Pittsburgh area, had the second highest registration of boaters per capita in the country behind Miami-Dade, Florida. And there's a reason. The three rivers here in Pittsburgh are beautiful. It's a great place to go boating. Within the 25 miles of navigable water, within the three locks in the Pittsburgh pool, there is so much to do. There's PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, Heinz Field, home of the Pittsburgh Steelers, all accessible by boats, and also with lots of restaurants available in between them. There's Point State Park itself, which is an incredible state park. There's Station Square, where our facility is located, that has 12 restaurants, segways, boat tours, tiki boats, jet ski rentals, office complex, and tons of other stuff to do available by boat. There's the Southside Works, which includes a theater and shopping and more restaurants accessible by boat. There's Washington's Landing Marina with Redfin Blues, which is a fun outdoor venue for a restaurant bar. And if you wanna go through a lock up the Allegheny or down the Ohio, you can get to Fox Chapel Marina, which has an outdoor pool, restaurant bar, and concert facility. And down the Ohio, even a beach bar and grill accessible by boat. Our members love where we are in, in Pittsburgh. They love our facility and all the fun stuff that they can get to by boat 
any afternoon when they're going boating with Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh. So this is Dylan DeFebo. He is our dock operations manager here at Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh. Say hi, Dylan. How's everybody doing today? So Dylan's in, in charge of member happiness. Dylan, tell us a little bit about the Freedom Boat Club Pittsburgh fleet. Today I have 16 boats in the water. Uh, by July we will have 22. Included in that will be eight sweet water 2286s uh, with a few different configurations. We'll have six Bayliner VR5s, six Hurricane ST, SD217s, and two Regal 21 OBXs. So Dylan, which boats are most popular with our members? Uh, we've got three different categories of boats. I have pontoons that are going to fit 12 people, deck boats that are going to fit eight, and then bow riders that are going to fill six. Uh, they all are fun and sought after. They all have different capabilities and really depends on uh, you know what you're trying to do out there on the water for the day. Great. What does our crew do each? What does our crew do each day to make sure our boats are in ship shape for our members? Uh, so our boats are cleaned at least two to three times a day. Uh, our staff gets here early in the morning and inspects and prepares our boats for our members so they are ready to go for each reservation. Uh, they are then sanitized, scrubbed, and cleaned in between each use, each use as well. Uh, and then, you know, any anytime we see any uh, minor maintenances that need to be done, our staff has been trained to take care of those as well. Great. So Dylan, what do our members like the most about their membership experience? I'd have to say our staff. Uh, most of my dock masters are avid boaters themselves, so they are very knowledgeable in the vessels we have here in our fleet, as well as the waterways around Pittsburgh, uh, and they do everything they can to really connect with our members on a daily basis. What does connecting with our members look like to you? Um, my staff is very good at remembering the names of all of our members, as well as their children, uh, even their dogs. Uh, they try to enhance or improve every aspect of our membership experience uh, day in and day out, and, and I believe we do a really good job of that. Fantastic. Tell us what the crew does to make the membership experience top notch each day. Uh, so we've got a little bit of an interesting setup here in Station Square. Um, we have to go over train tracks to get here to the water. So I have a boat sea air stationed up at Landside. They greet our members, get them a parking cart, help them unload their car and drag that uh, dock cart down to the boat for our members, uh, as well as give them any information that they might need to know as far as what is available here in Station Square. Perfect. Any extra touches that we provide daily to make our member boating experience even better? Definitely. So uh, we have bags of ice for sale down here at the marina. Uh, we've partnered with Tareen. They are a uh, restaurant up in Station Square that offers gourmet grab-and-go food specifically for our Freedom Boat Club members. Uh, we've also tried to partner with a few different restaurants and uh, entertainment activities up in Station Square. That includes uh, Segway tours and jet ski rentals, anything like that that you know they discount for our members. Awesome. Thanks, Dylan.